I was up in the booth, and they said they're not recording digital to begin with. Is that the case? Yeah, they're recording analog, and then immediately it goes to digital, right afterwards, mm -hmm. uh, like this far on the, on the tape, I believe, from the record head to the playback head. I, I believe the way it works, when it hits the playback head, it goes right back onto digital. It gets converted to digital right there. So what happens is we get the analog sound, but we don't get the tape wearing out. We capture it before the tape wears out, before, as it's going over our head for the first time after it was captured. We're capturing it. So then, because we have to go digital anyway, so we do it immediately. Yeah. So um, analog sound sounds nicer? Uh, I think it's just a, it's yeah. partly a nostalgic thing. It's partly we know yeah. that that the analog sound is a universe, mm. like like chemical film is yes. a universe, but the digital image is a particle board. It's like uh, it's it's uh, uh, looking at it through a screen, tiny little holes in the screen. The only problem with digital is every hole is the same. There, each one is only one thing. So there's no universe when you go inside that little digital hole, that little pixel. It is one thing. It's not like many things. So that's that's how I uh, that's how I try to explain it to myself. I see. But that's why I can hear so much more in analog because it's a universe. No matter how far you go into it, it's still a universe. With yeah. digital, if you go in too far, you break it down to one element. You know, when I talked to you personally a while ago, and you said you had a song in your head, and and um, and I, and when do you know? If it's coming out or not, or how? I don't know if it's possible to talk about such a thing. Well, it's, I do still have it in my head, and it hasn't come out, but it's still there. When you mentioned it, I started thinking about it again, because it has got there's something uh, that's unformed about it, but it's it's waiting to come out, you know. So it's it'll have to it just it'll happen mm. probably while I'm sleeping or something, or who knows when. But mm -hmm. suddenly it'll. Uh, It'll happen, and I'll have it, and then I'll start playing it. I'm just about ready to start doing that. And I don't understand. Do, like, does the words come first, or the music, or how did? I mean, can, 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 you know, a lot of people ask that because it's hard to tell. It's when the music arrives, the words come with it, but you hear the music before it gets here. So when the music actually gets to me, it gets. Um, I've been hearing it for a while, then it forms up, and when it forms up, the, the words come. So, it's a, it's a I asked the man in the booth how he knows whether, whether the music is good or not, and he said something sort of personal, I guess. He said that, that when, when you're inspired, I don't know whether he used the word inspired, but there was there something, some electric, um, transmission, which I don't know whether you can explain, but obviously a guy sitting with his earphones on up or whatever up there. They can feel it when it gets yeah, focused. Yeah, you feel yeah, it. That, yeah. I guess that's the closest yeah. thing. Well, it's a feeling, so, and they need to be ready all the time. Most of the time it happens right away, so if you're not ready out of the gate, you don't get it, and, and you've missed it, and you'll be looking for it for the rest of the day, and it was already there and left. If he's feeling music, then he's recording, he's playing, and I'm recording it. Because that's great art. That's what art is. It's capturing the moment. All the human imperfections, that's what it's about, always. He's the consummate artist.